Good morning. Good morning, our people. Good morning once again. Today is October the 9th of 2021. We are so happy to have you guys back. You know, we've been struggling. People are messing with our viewership and locking our viewers out of uh, participation. We understand all of that, but we keep referring to our great grandmothers, the ABBA women of 1929. If they can be able to disseminate the information that they needed, we, with the power of social media and every other platform, phone, uh, Telegram, thank God for Telegram, all manner of stuff. By the way, our people, you can make phone calls on Telegram just like you do on WhatsApp. So don't be afraid to use it. We have been locked down on WhatsApp. A lot of us are like, you know, get when can I that Telegram? Telegram works like WhatsApp. So go ahead and upload it and start using it. You can do video call. You can do phone call as well. On our work was as good as Emo or IMO. Some people call it IMO. Some people call it Emo. So there are so many other platforms that we can use. There's one called Viper. Maybe we can also post the link. So when you came here, uh abracata on one side we abracata on the other side so we can do this until we're able to build our own so if you are talented in things like this please please you know let us know maybe we can support you to have our own platform those go in so thank you once again for joining us my name is Mona Chim Saga. before i take off and run up let me allow my sisters to introduce themselves sisters please just one call Oh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Uh, we are super excited. Yes, we are excited because the news is out there. Whether you like it or not, the news is out there. And everybody is aligning with what Ninas is doing because guess what we told you? We are going step by step. You understand? We are not jumping the gun. We are going one time, at, one step at a time. So for those that are yet to realize what we are doing, please, please, please pay attention. It's for your own good. So we want to thank everybody that's joining us this morning. My name is Dr. Gustav Sike. We have a lot to discuss and it's all about our self-determination. You have that right. Don't allow anybody to take that away from you. Thanks for joining. And thank you, all my sisters. Thank you, uh, viewers. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your intelligence, you know. And my name is Dr. Equi Simon Okube uh, here in Lexington, Kentucky. Before we go ahead, we want to give you something to think about as we go. According to Joy Bell, the only way we can live is if we grow. The only way we can grow is if we change. The only way we can change is if we learn. And the only way we can learn is if we get exposed. The only way we can become exposed is if we throw ourselves out into the open. So do it. Throw yourself out into what Nina's is doing. Let's get freedom for our people and our land. Thank you. Thank you, sister. You know, the most exciting thing about what we're doing is as if for the first time, we are actually doing something meaningful, not just, you know, abracatab and shouting and all kinds of stuff. We're actually doing something meaningful. And our sisters, our daughters, our mothers are fully engaged because for so many years we left men in the front, you know, and say, oh, for every successful man, how do you say it again? For every successful man, there's a woman, right? <laughs> and then when it comes to the Western world, there's a man and a woman. And ours, they kind of like push us to the behind. Yeah, it says, they, a, for every uh -huh. successful man, there's a woman behind him. <laughs> yes. So while the, the, the so called people that so called brought us the civilization, they were working with their women. Actually, they had their women in charge of things. You know, they would go there with their suits and their glasses and their gray hair to speak after the wife must have given them all the information and then they would go and deliver the information. So for the first time, the sisters are doing something. We do want to thank, uh, thank every sister, uh, uh, Aisha, uh, 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 Maureen, 
Maureen, Sister Chioma, every sister that is continuously on this website sharing information. Please help us to share. Last week, we got so many phone calls that Facebook was uh, blocking people, especially those back home. Um, so we are on YouTube. I hope YouTube is not the same. So please, you know, you can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter. Uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook. Yeah, if they allow you to see us. Yeah. As, yeah. As a Samuna, and our brothers too, because you know, it's not every man that is comfortable when you see a woman doing something. So we are proud of our brothers that are not intimidated by what we are doing. They are standing beside us, beside by, by us in front, everywhere. They are standing with us. Standing with us. Let's go. We are with you. Brother, Brother Disney. Is it Disney World? <laughs> Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> we are also. <laughs> Thank yes, you. yes, my <laughs> brothers. I did not forget you. I just wanted to include you guys are the rock. You know, we are glad that you all are smart enough to know that you need your women hand in hand, working with you, in, you know, in uh, to get to where we're going. So we appreciate you guys so much. Anyway, as our topic goes, the imposed illegitimate 1999 constitution, an instrument of oppression and genocide. We know that this is a constitution, military decree, right? Can never get us anywhere. Um, that has been, um, uh, it's an open statement that we've been making for so many years now. And a lot of people are calling it in different dimensions. You know, we heard this uh, pastor say, oh yeah, it's the constitution, but we want to restructure Nigeria and fix one Nigeria. They're all over the place because they have never started to understand what the issues are. And when they, you engage them and spend all the time to talk to them because they are not honest, because they are very dishonest, they will never capture the whole information. So they will take the piece that will allow them to deliver their message and sort of mess it up, you know, how are the new no saying it? And then they will destroy the, the message. But as daughters of the truth, or daughters of truth, we're here always to relay the message and be consistent with the message. So that you're not confused. This is the only platform where you will get the same message over and over again. If you're hearing it from all the random places, they will confuse you as what we are trying to do. So we, the people, stand together in Ninas to reassert our self-determination right as the authentic heir to all our ancestral land. On 28th of February 2017, a delegate of Igbo political class who we also know as Judas Goat, went to Kuje prison to visit a certain warmonger. There are various Igbo um, Sa'isa agitation group formally embraced the Lower Niger Congress referendum template. They all agreed to advance a cohesive Lower Niger independence movement, driving one compact referendum campaign. Well, well, well. Little did they know that this politicians has something else in mind. Their action was in anticipation of the Anambra state election of 2027. And please, today, we want you guys to pay attention. Sister P is going to narrate a story. So that because all these things are, ha are happening in uh, isolation, sometimes we're not able to sort of put it together and see the games these people are playing. So it's good to sort of listen because when she paints the, the bigger picture, you will be like, whoa, you know, you will see exactly how this thing goes around. So by September of 2017, the Nigerian army launched Operation Python Dance in the Southeast to ensure that the Anambra state election holds. Whether the people voted or not, that does not concern them. The most important thing to them is that a winner must emerge. In the midst of this, they killed hundreds of our youths. A few days ago, as we are talking about what happened in 2017, still fresh in those that lost their loved ones the Nigerian army launched Operation Golden Dawn in Southeast yet again. Another two by the ruling party APC to ensure that Anambra state election holds. Wow. The old African proverb says, when elephant fights, it is the grass that will suffer. How many of our innocent citizens will die this time around? Ubiabo, Ubiano, Umahi, how many of them? Already dead toll is rising. Oppression and molestation has begun. Even our once quiet Nollywood community has received the memo. They received a memo as well. You guys saw that this week. Our youths are overly agitated. So much apprehension and uncertainty. 
you can see that this is the same game, merry-go-round. We keep saying they're putting us in merry-go-round with no escape route. And I promise if you stay in merry-go-round long enough, you will be drowsy. Where's the hand? Nothing, nobody will say anything that makes sense to you because you're trying to get hold of yourself and you can't. We've heard this nonsense over and over again. Abraham Lincoln said, you can fool some of the people all the time and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. Mm -hmm. We know better. Like I said, pay close attention as we narrate to you what these people have been doing to us. They are not relenting. They have made us so hungry. We don't know our left from right. On top of that, you know, a hungry man, you're playing politics on, on top of hungry man. And then sometimes you tell them to shit at home or sit at home or whatever you're telling them, no food. Adding more to their issues, adding more to the problems at hand. So you can imagine, it rests upon us in diaspora that it's not under the guns of this apprehension and agitation and killing to do this for our people. What role are you playing? Have you done what you're supposed to do? Going or as we're speaking right now, some people are planning all manner of events and nobody is trying to go to the underlying problem of what's going on at home. Sometimes they even put on their church clothes and kneel down and start uh, a bracata on the air just to confuse our people more. Holding our people down in their churches, in their various locations or whatever they are doing just to deceive our people from what's going on after they have kept them hungry. So I'm going to play the first video. Sisters, go ahead if you want to add something while I pull this video up. Yeah, as uh, Sister Mona rightly said, you know, um, it's high time we all, you know, put our, our pants on. Yes, everybody. It's high time we put our pants on and get this going. You know, we need to get this going. They, they have been doing this for a while. It's a strategy they've been using. And they repeat this strategy all the time. Our people see this strategy all the time, and you still follow suit. That is what amazes me. How in the world would you follow what these people have been using all the time? When it was an amber election in 2017, they came with their Python dancing. And in collaboration with the Perimau, for some of you that don't understand, it was in collaboration with Namdekano. You all would not get this, but that is the truth. Now they are coming back to Anambra State and the killing have started. Yesterday they killed a, a brother and a sister. They were returning from the morgue. They want to drop their, I think a, 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 an uncle or, or a brother died at the morgue. As they were returning, these army officers shot a brother and a sister. Nigerian hmm. What do you mean? Shot the two of them. This are, they, these people went to deposit a body at the morgue of their brother. And they have shot and, and an entire family is gone. How do you explain that? Hmm. The army people are not even indigenous to that. Um, and as we are saying, if this 1999 constitution doesn't come down, there is no amount of grammar who would speak that will get us out of this problem. There's no amount of grammar. And if you're anticipating war, it is to your own detriment because they have everything. They have all the arsenal to decimate us. So everybody get on board. It's not going to cost you anything to get on board. Don't get mesmerized with some, some stories out there. Get on board with what would work. And it's like time we all did that. Please, Sister Mona, is the, is the video ready? Yes. Some stakeholders have converse of fiscal federalism or return to the 1963 Republican Constitution. While others have argued that we either restructure, discuss our coexistence through a referendum, or go our separate ways. And like my brother and friend, Barista Tio Mungu, once asked, are we really afraid of going our separate ways? Look at the man now. That will guarantee justice, fairness, equity, peace, and security. I leave you to be the judge of that, though. Why countries like Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and USSR 
I'm all separated to foster equality, justice, security, and ethnic nationalism. We are here preaching unity in Nigeria, yet we have no solution to the genocide in South Africa. The illegal but officially condone arms in the hands of killer headsmen, kidnappers, bandits roaming the country, the technically defeated Boko Haram, the amnesty militant or the kidnappers. How about the corruption, nepotism, ineptitude, and birthday selfishness and planlessness on the part of the political class, president, governor, lawmakers, and their lives? Let me sit down there and deceive ourselves. Czechoslovakia, which had a population of 16 million people, less than Lagos population, separated into Czech and Slovakia on the 1st of January, 1993. Yugoslavia, in 1991, was 23.2 million, barely more than Lagos population. It brought into six countries, same year, all along ethnic lines, namely Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia. In Europe, the UK permitted regional autonomy to the Irish, the Scots, and the Welsh, while the English dominated Westminster. <laughs> Switzerland has four ethnic groups. Each of them rotates the presidency annually through seven can cartons that constitute the federation unit. These countries, like every other, might have their core problems, but they are stronger and fostering, fostering independence today. I would therefore advocate, as posited by Professor Waleshoika and Professor George Obiozo, and a lot of other scholars, apart from those in government, <laughs> Nigeria, as presently constituted, is structurally flawed and badly configured. If not restructured either along regional lines or allowed to discuss their cohabitation to whether agree to agree or agree to all the people, it might give way forcefully without the opportunity of proper tailoring. The North, if properly harnessed, can not only feed the entire West Africa but can become a new Dubai. The Southwest can enhance our creativity to become another Silicon Valley if they weren't waiting for revenue from a feeding bottle center. The Southeast, with accountable leadership and right infrastructure can become the Japan of Africa, while the South-South can be able to look inward for possibilities that abound around them. Then we will indeed understand that united we fall, divided we stand. All right. That's it on that. Sisters, go ahead. Uh, for the guy that said united we fall and divided we stand, I mean, he kind of like twisted it, which makes sense for me because there's no point in this kind of unity. But I would advise him, since he knows all the problem, he knows that if we divide, the Eastern region will be, will not just be Japan, will be over Japan because that's who we are. Excellence is what we try to achieve in all of our endeavors. The white, the Southwest will become Silicon Valley. It's not just Sil it will surpass Silicon Valley because that is who the Western people, the Southwest people are known for. You understand? And the Middle Belt, remember, Benway State used to be called the food basket of the, of the, of the, I don't know if they're still called that now because hunger has so mammoth them in the sense that the Fulani headsmen came into that place and decimated the land. Almost how many percentage of the people are now in ID camps? You understand? And we're saying, for how long? For how long are we going to sit tight and allow these things to continue? For how long are we going to continue to get mesmerized by spoken English when we are supposed to do the needful? So for this guy that is telling us that united we, we fall and divided we stand, why is he not projecting the Nina? Why is he not even talking about what Nina is doing? Because he, idea, he should have called that prison. You want them to arrest him after this? No, no, he <laughs> prison now. He has already even put himself in a position where he could be imprisoned. So why not get imprisoned for 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 whatever it is worth? You know, you talk about why Linus is so important as we as we speak. You need to talk about why Linus is the only way because people are like, oh, the, yes, it is the only way as we speak. If we don't do it this way, we continue to rigmarole. You see, when Stephen was explaining rigmarole, you will become drowsy. You will become tipsy. You didn't drink Maya, but you become tipsy when you are moving around the circle, moving around the circle instead of following the pathway. We have the likes of Moralo. Moralo is a professor. 
I think he read law here in America. He's a professor. He's an intelligentia. He's an intellectual. He, 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 the guy's brain, I don't think there's a duplicate. Yet, he does not see the reason why we have to go our separate ways. There, what because does critical thinking, Dr. Augusta? Hmm? They lack critical thinking. <laughs> critical thinking is not being taught in school now. What well, like? It's not being taught in school. Mm -hmm. You cram, you regurgitate, you regurgitate what you have been taught when it's time for exam. And that is why when they pass, they come out with first class and all that. You think that they know something. Remember, they cram this thing to be able to write the exams. That's all they've been doing. So we need to do the, and it is now. <laughs> hey, you guys, I don't know if, if, if our people are, you know, the, one of the problems we have recently is that our people don't read anymore. In those days, we used to read. Now, there are a lot of frivolous things out there that gets their, them attached. You understand? You all should know that these Fulanis are not joking. They are not playing. The only people playing are our people. They are not playing. Now, this is a video by Barista Tony Nadi. Sister, sister, someone, go ahead and play this video. You will see that this man has been talking since go, 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 go. And her people are deaf in the ears. Yes. This, ears. this video was 2018. You know, and at this time, our people have put in, the team have put in already over 15 years of work. Wow. So our people have heard this truth for long. What did they do with it? He has told them several, he said, we must shut down Nigeria. The indigenous peoples of Nigeria must take back their land. It's a simple truth. But they have continued to defy this, ignore this call to their own detriment and to the detriment of their children. And our people have been dying. Middle Belt blood every day. Southeast, Southwest, Northeast, Northwest. For years, for over 21 years, this truth was out there. The people ignored it and people have been dying. Sometimes people say, oh, they say now that we should not go for election. And uh, it didn't happen. Yes, and you died again. Each hmm. time you do not listen to the warning. You, are, you will pay in blood. That's what we're saying. If you did not dismantle Nigeria, your people will continue to die. Yeah. It's as simple as that. So if you refuse, what we're saying, we're not talking about election boycott. That's not what we're saying. We're saying total dismantling. Because what did I say? If your house is on fire, you don't go chasing rats. Why will you be conducting an election when your house is on fire? Everybody is saying it. The foundation of Nigeria is faulty. The structure upon which we are trying to build is faulty. Everybody knows it. Even your professor Morgan knows it. But deception will not allow them. Deception will not allow them. So listen, please. Uh, let's hear it again. <laughs> Lower Niger Congress who go to Muawo Onyo Daokoha, he may endorse as Eben de Mayinaga. Una. Uh oh, can you imagine these people? How dare you, stupid senior? They will tell you they are in charge now. Is that true? How dare you, Mumu? How could you have put up here? Is he? He ended by a book here in Nigeria. I will give you a dozen in Nigeria called the Kwama because exactly. Nigeria was not designed to work. Exactly. I have a document here that predated Nigeria. In this document, and there are some of us in this audience who have uh, seen it, the principles by which the foundations of Nigeria were laid are listed here. From that time, this document predated 1914. And everything we lament now, which have been made permanent by the constitution we have, Try. have their foundations in these principles. So whether you were looking for 
how this marginalization came, our people resisted them. Other people found a way to bend to them. Our people fought them frontally. King Jaja of Opobo managed to die in exile. A whole number of other people, Ojuku's grandfather was hung in Nkonewe to show example to the other smaller paramount uh, rulers of the time who were saying, you can't come. And the British took special care to work out a containment plan. Hmm. Incidentally, the most important things they came to look for in Nigeria are in our own part. Sad. And how do they take that thing without talking to us? That was the reason the union was floated in the first place. As a British enterprise, I'm sure some of us have been to Owere here before. I'm sure we know the place called Share Camp in Owere. I'm going to give you just like five examples of things you didn't know about. It doesn't matter how old uh, we are. Because those who negotiated independence with Nigeria, in course of this research, we sat down with them and found out that our fathers did not know. And if our fathers did not know, how will we then know, how will our children know that these things were designed to be so? So it's not by accident that we find ourselves where we are today. And what the Lower Niger Congress and these associated uh, platforms across the country had done was to form a consensus of their grift to get to the root of that matter and either make Nigeria our project or dismantle it to free all of those who are trapped in it. We spent 15 years trying to make it work. And we created that consensus by calling everybody. I'm sure some of us had Pronaco. I was talking about Owere so that we don't forget. There's a place called Share Camp in Owere. It's still there. If anybody is aware of what I'm talking about, I want to hear the voice of that person. Is there a place called Shell Camp in Owe? Does anybody here know that Shell was headquartered in that place for 42 years, moving to Port in 1960? The compound, the compound that was that that was that Shell headquarter and residency is today divided into several facilities. It was Emma Obara that bought the property in 1960 from Shell. The hotel, the mod hotel, I don't know what the name is now, is in the gate area. The whole of government house in Owere is inside that facility. The whole of Albany Koku was inside that facility. The federal, the medical facility after Alban was inside that compound. That's on one side of the road. On the other side, all the way, including the mobile police camp. Therefore, what was Shell doing in that place for 42 years, building that massive infrastructure, living for Port in 1960, if the story of oil in Nigeria began with Oloibri in 1957? Do the arithmetic. The oil here was used in the First World War, Dude. in the Second World War. Criminals. I left the oil industry in 1998 from a, from a, a senior executive a position in the upstream. It was the documents I saw by which Shell was operating that made me throw in the towel. At the time I left that job, I could go to work in the morning and sign off on things of two, three million dollars for people who will make profit of two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in a matter of two, three weeks. And I will never meet them. I'm only looking at my computer to decide who can deliver. That was the kind of job I had to leave because it dawned on me that we had to recover this land. And God's so kind, all kinds of things, you think they, are, they happen by accidents. No, I read physics, and chemistry, and mathematics, and all of the sciences. Well equipped. And I have gone off to the NDA to be trained as a military, a, a jet fighter pilot. It was from that NDA that I came to the university. At the time I ended up in law, it was I didn't understand the head and tail of how with all these uh, physics and chemistries I've ended up in love. Until my final year. God's design, brother. There's a course of law called jurisprudence. I'm sure there are some lawyers left here. Anyone? Good. There's a course called jurisprudence. That jurisprudence is the science of law. 
As I speak with you today, the last jurist Nigeria had was Chukwu the Fokuta. There's no jurist left, even in our Supreme Court, and I've said. All right, so I'm going to post vi this video in its entirety uh, on our website and website on our page, <laughs> on our page for you to go and hear. Uh, our brother has been lamenting for years, explaining for years, you know, left a power and job for us. And what do we have in return? Sister, could please continue. Sister, please, please, before you continue, I want to vent. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, as, as I was watching that video, I saw a make a make a series was yep. listening. I saw yeah. Richani Bob, she was mm -hmm. listening. Mm -hmm. I saw some prominent, you know, prominent quote and yeah. Yeah, legal and, developments. Mm -hmm. and they, they were listening. Mm -hmm. And we had somebody that is an all rounder, as mm -hmm. he said, the last jurist was uh, uh Charlie mm -hmm. Boy's dad, yes. The Oputa is talking about is Charlie Boy's dad. Yes. I mean, for those that don't know. Mm -hmm. So he explained this thing then. And yet we have the likes of these people still trying to trying to discover what has already been discovered. I mean, I, I, I don't I don't get it. The, the story is out there. He has explained to you why he had to leave a high-paying job. Trust me, if I have that job, me, I won't leave. I mean, it's the typical Nigerian mentality anyways. But what I'm trying to say is that he left that high yield, high earning job because he discovered that there's a document that has tied us unnecessarily to be abject, to be, sorry, perpetual slaves for mm. life. Mm, mm, mm. And we had people, people that are intelligent. They were lawyers in that, in that, um, at least the maker went to law school now, but so they were lawyers in that. <laughs> <place. Palaka. laughs> you know, that's why I said that, but I want to, you know, give him standards. Mm. So they were lawyers in that, in that field. And you listen to all that. And up to now, you are still speaking grammar, trying to be Biafra in Nigeria. Hey, okay, Venter, sister, if we continue. Uh, yeah, it's so believable. And you say, what is going on? All these truths that our people heard, what did they do with it? Hmm. You see, according to United Nations Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples, they have at least three things that if you're looking for self-determination, they said you must do. And these three things are just common sense. It's not something that you need to go to Cambridge to understand. If you, you your mother gave birth to you and you did not suck the breast of monkey, or the breast of something I don't know, you will understand this thing because it's so simple. United Nations said first, there must be a definite map. That's the territory that you want the freedom now. Is this not common sense? Because, uh, can somebody help me? Is this not common sense that if you want the freedom of a place, that there must be a definite map demarcating the territory that you're saying, you know, see where I want. Or you want to take another person's land, are you, are you Nigeria? So there must be a definite map. The second one, said there will be a clear identity. There's, there must be name for identification. That is, who are you? You that you are claiming this thing. Who are you? And who are your neighbors? So that we know this is the map. This is who we are. And these are our neighbors. In front is this. In the back is this. At the side is this. Simple. And those are your neighbors. Who are they? For instance, you have Igbo nationality. Beside it, you have Ijo nationality. In the other side of it, you have Yoruba nationality. You must make these demarcations as you are approaching UN to say this is what we want. Another one, you said there must be consensus among the peoples seeking that self-determination. That means there's a goal that what we want, we want self-determination. And this is who we are. And we have discussed with our neighbors and they said, ah, it's okay. And they agree that where we say is our land is that is our land. So everybody agreed. And those people inside that place, they have also agreed that, yes, we want to go together to get self-determination. That means you have a charter of relationship signed, documented, and say we are going together as a group to get this self-determination. 
This is the law. This is not Barrister Tony Nadi saying it's not me, it's not Augusta, it's not Muna. This is the law. This is UN's law that nations have been using. We are not the first. Okay. What did some criminally minded people do with this type of information? They didn't even get it. Even those that they explained it to, there's one elderly man. They sat down for four hours explaining this thing I said now to. Because he has a bull, okay? He's only a criminal mind he has. He threw this thing inside fire. Threw it away. What did he do? Abandoned all this information. And went shouting and singing on radio. And our people, our ignorant people, joined him. Into singing and shouting on the radio. So we go in front of some houses in London and everywhere and be crying. Be ayo, be ayo. With your ugly voices. I'm telling you. So without putting, without first putting strategy on the table, they went going in round to <laughs> continue from where Nigeria took us. Nigeria has been taking us in round, round and round and round, merry go round. They two came and continue from where Nigeria stopped. It's, it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse because this was their own noise is now bringing death, more death. Our youths are dying. People are dying. And people ask, why is it that everybody is dying? Yes, because we want to be mumu. Our mumu never do. So we are going in round, round and round, like people that don't have sense. And they'll be asking, ah, I thought they said these people went to school. Oh. I thought they said people had, these people have professors and doctors. They did not tell them at home. No. Did they not receive the memo? No. Meanwhile, LNC had eight point strategy wrote it down in a document, circulated it, put it in website, gave to our people, printed it in papers, get to your own so-called leaders. This is what we need to do according to UN. In that document, number one, it said exact map of the territory. And that is why in, 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 in honor dinners, you have Southwest with their own map. You have Lower Niger, block with our own map then you have middle belt with our own block it is clear the next one they said that the people there must be a consensus in those blocks those blocks each block the people in, in it must have consensus and say yes we want self-determination because you don't know maybe you want freedom the other person doesn't want freedom maybe somebody else wants uh, slavery under fulani you never can tell so you must have a consensus, and that is the meaning of Ninas that you're hearing. Some people will say, oh, we just now that we heard Ninas. No, <laughs> my idea is step by step. The time for Ninas, so that's why you start hearing it. But other things have been going on in steps. That's number two. Under Ninas, that is people who say, what is Ninas? Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. This is not clear. <laughs> Indigenous People's alliance, they came together. What do they want? Self determination. Finish. Case closed. That means the indigenous peoples have united for freedom. For the man that is saying united, we stand. Yes, we have united. <laughs> yes, and we are standing. <laughs> we are standing for freedom and self determination because I don't have any unity with the man that wants to kill me. Somebody wants to cut off my head and pluck it out. I don't have unity with that type of person. No. I have unity with Yoruba people that say they want freedom too. With the job people, Shekiri people, TV people, Doma people, they too are being killed. They say they want freedom. They want out of this mess. That's number two. Number three, strategy for taking down the 1999 constitution. There must be a strategy. You will not just say, like some people in their uh, religion, I hear say they want to divorce woman. They will go in front of the house and say, I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you do in this one there must be a strategy to bring down the 1999 constitution why do you want to take down the 1999 constitution because the constitution is what makes a nation or a country sovereign so if you don't break the constitution you are not dismantling nothing that thing remains that's why you saw in chile in uh, uh, algeria all these places uh, south africa with the apartheid constitution so there must be a strategy to take it down and what is the strategy constitutional force major 
Because like we have explained to you people that the constitution is a social contract. If people that you enter that uh, contract, even if by force or by fake or by fraud, if you they are no more are doing what the terms, they are no more playing by the terms. You have the right to say, I not do again. And it does not depend on the man that is killing you. No matter how he's shouting, no matter how he's throwing tantrum, hey, 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 don't break Nigeria. Don't, we don't care. You have violated the terms of our union. You introduced Sharia, where we have a secular nation. You brought your brothers to start killing our people. So we're not waiting for you to tell us it's time to go. We are going. And it does not depend on you. Mm -hmm. So that's number 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 three, the strategy to take down the 1999, the, the fraudulent, the illicit, the military, the anything you call it, the devil, devil's book, Lucifer's book. That 1999 concern, there must be a strategy. Because we're hearing people here, oh, the concern is bad. Because, so how do you want to bring it down? So that's the concern first major. And we have done it on the 16th of December, 2020, it was done. The declaration was done and we sent documents to important places. Number four, we needed to dismantle the 1967 Caliphate Alliance. You see, before they did the Biafra genocide, the Caliphate led the entire world and the other people into create, boxing us up, the Southeast, into a dot. And you heard their brother Buhari remind you, telling you what they did. And we have been telling you this in that year. He now came openly to now say, to confirm that that's true, that that's what they did. Before they were able to kill 3.5 million of the people of our people and starve 2 million children to death, they had a strategy. And that strategy was Caliphate Alliance. They lied against us and put us in a box, in a dot, and they came to finish us up. But for our God and our fathers and mothers that stood up and fought. So Nina's is that strategy to dismantle it. That's why, so we now formed an alliance against them because they're the only ones killing everybody in Nigeria. The caliphates and the Fulanis, the elites especially, are the only ones killing the rest of Nigerians. So we now formed an alliance against that massacre, against those killing us, and that alliance is called Nina's. That's number four. Number five, Campaign name, like we heard us, you did us at the UN, that you need a campaign name. So, and that campaign name might be must be adopted by the people that we have formed the consensus with. And for those in Lower Niger territory, we, uh, we have circulated these maps all the time. There's behind me, you can see some of the maps. You can see the 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 the, 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 the you can see the territory, the blocks. So the Lower Niger block. They chose the name Lower Niger Congress. It's not the name of the country. It's just a name to go and do the work. It's a congress. That means people came together. It's not like a one. No, it's a congress that we are uniting all the people that are agitating for freedom and self-determination in that block. Then in Southwest, they formed their own, Ilana Omo Odua, and that's their putting themselves together. So sometimes when you hear Yoruba this, Yoruba this, yeah, all of them ought to be on, inside Elano Omo Odua to approach the central, which is Nina's. Then in Middle Belt, you have the Middle Belt uh, Forum. Also bringing all the peoples in that block together. That's number five. Then number six, we talk about regional referendums, not war. We don't want anarchy. We don't want war. We don't want our people to be killed. What you see happening in Southeast is as a result of the criminal people that want to do some things and kill our people. And we, are, we want them against it. We want our people, do not go this route. Do not do this. If you do this, you give opportunity to our enemies to come and disseminate and, disseminate and kill us. We want our people. But they did not hear. So what we want is regional referendums. Mind you, it's not Nigeria one referendum that INEC will conduct. God forbid. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about blocks in blocks, the regions. We have referendum, not war. Number seven, transitional government. Because the way it is done is you move from A to B. But you need, like when you bring down the, the constitution, as we have done, 
you need a transition moving from A to B. Some people need to be in charge. Why you do all that is called transitional government. So you will form the members of transitional government. You give them mandates. This is what we would want you to do from the do this and do that. And then you tell them this is a time frame. We want you to do it in six months. We want you to do it in one year. It is part of it. Number eight is called international imperity. We told you that our land is so wonderful. You can hear it when Pastor Tony said it. We have so much resources. As a result, we have people that are land doing business. We are not trying to chase them away. They have become stakeholders because they have made some investment in our land. So we need to also tell them what we are doing, what this is all about. So that is the eighth point. And you can see, like uh, somebody was talking about, oh, give us feedback on the New York rally. Yes, that's part of it. We have officially informed them, wrote letters, did all the things, but we now need to go and show the public. What are we showing the public? That we, the indigenous peoples, have come together as one in seeking self-determination. That's what the rally is for. The rally is not so that we'll do it and they'll give us freedom. <laughs> they are not holding our freedom. It's in our hands. Sovereignty is in the hands of the people. We are only informing diplomats and international stakeholders that see you, something is happening in Nigeria. And if you continue to borrow money <laughs> and lend money to Nigeria, or you're for you, anything that happens to your money, my hand no day. And we are trying to stop the killing, the mass killing, the bloodshed in Nigeria. And we have agreed together. All of us being killed, we have agreed together and we are showing it open. I remember in those days when they say you want to be born again. He said, hey, don't just say it in your seats. Come out in the altar so that the people will see, make it public. The same thing with marriage. You can go and do marriage by the side, but they say you need to do it in public so that people will be aware that you are both married. And when they see both of you, they'll say, ah, this is not man and wife. Oh. What are you doing with that man's wife? Or what are you doing with that woman's husband? You do it public. So that's what, we're, that's what the rally is for. And you can see our people have moved to Atlanta. Also doing the same rally. So it's not only Yoruba people saying, Nigeria, I'm tired. It's not only the Igbo people saying, I'm tired of Nigeria. We are showing the people, the masses, the international people, that we have come together in calling for the dismantling of Nigeria to end the bloodshed, to end the massacre. We are also informing diplomats, diplomatic communities, stakeholders, businessmen and women, so that they will not say they didn't hear. Do you people understand it? Mm. It's simple as this. It's not anything other complicated. This is just simple. Sister Augusta, please go ahead. I think we have another video. <laughs> My sister, you explained that very well. Thank you so much. And this is what we're telling our people. You have to be able to put this information that we're giving you together, unless it will not make sense. Like you, she said, you would think that we're going to UN to get freedom. Whereas we can, we keep telling you on this show that we can end this Nigeria today. Before 12 noon, we can end this Nigeria today. So why then do we think, oh, if we go to UN, you, UN don't care about you. UN is busy trying to see where they can steal money and pretend like they're doing work. That's why, that's why this is their 78 section under the 78 years of uh, being in in uh, uh, but in business. They they watch how many massacre massacre go on. There's one in Rwanda. There's one in Biafra. There's one in Czechoslovakia. They they are there. Remember them with the UN. So why then would we let our freedom be in their hands? All we are saying is that we are following their protocols. Here they are. We have done what you guys say we're supposed to do. At the end, we, the people now, will decide what we want. What do we want? We all know that we want freedom from that union of debt called Nigeria. We all know that we want freedom from that hellhole that we find ourselves in. That's why we are all in diaspora. And I keep telling these people this. Whenever you see us outside, we are running from Nigeria. So don't you dare come and ask me if I'm a Nigerian. I left Nigeria because Nigeria was mean to me. Nigeria wanted to destroy my destiny. Nigeria wanted to destroy who we are. That's why you're seeing us in your own country, calling us Nigerians. How come you're not from Texas living in Nigeria? How come you're not in Texas living in, in Omaha? There's a reason why we left Nigeria. Nigeria is not working for me. Is Nigeria working for you? Sister Augusta, please go ahead. How 
can Nigeria work for uh, free-minded people like us? How can Nigeria work for people that like aiming high? How can Nigeria work for some of us that it's not just the education, as Sister Muna will always say, critical thinking is part of education. How can Nigeria work for some of us that really want to fly? You know, some of us want to fly. Then they want to crawl. So how can Nigeria work for us like that? You understand? So for those of us that are still, or those of them, because I'm not part of those, that are still interested in maintaining the status quo, to pack your load. Pack, pack one corner. We're no longer interested in that. Pack one corner. For the intellectuals, you know this truth. You know this story. You know how these things can be gotten. You know how we can get this thing. And you're still dancing. Looking Where at you the get, He does good. Yeah, look at her here. Look at them. Looking at Buari that is not looking at you. You, you think Buari gives, gives, I need to, you know, you think Buari cares about you? Buari cares about his people in Niger Republic, not even in Niger. He cares about We're here today people. to hand over a letter. He, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Send please. this video. Yeah. Okay. That's our people that are watching. You see, these are this is how things are done elsewhere. This is Cape Town in South Africa. They took a letter to the presidency asking for a referendum for their sovereign nation. Nobody shot them. Can you see them giving the letter to the president? And, and making it passing it in their country. They didn't go to another country to go and pass the letter. They are there. So why is it that when they, they see, it's, of course you can see it's a white man. When they want freedom, they just pass document and they get it. 1885, 1884, when they shared Nigeria, uh, Africa, they just sat down, did it on like a meeting, sat down and shared it. They didn't go to war. They ended war when they stopped, when they grew up and matured. They said, we are not fighting anymore. When are our own people, when are we going to mature? To, to the, the president, the, the letter informs the president. Want, on the 15th. And we don't want to fight about it. We do not need to fight about it. This is how things are done in a civilized manner. No one needs to be killed. Nobody needs to shoot anyone. It's my right to say, I want to leave you. I want to leave your union. It is not good for my children. It's not good for myself. It's not good for us. It is my right. I don't need to beg you, moron. Village man. Can you imagine? You are drinking cow milk, cow urine <laughs> as water. And you want to be to lead me. And you say you will lead Nigeria as you have led it before. I don't want to drink cow urine with you. How about that? And I need out of the union. I'll only inform you, not take permission from you. Get it in your brain. And this is how things are done. I'm just giving you an example. Please go ahead, Samuel. In September, we handed in a formal request to Premier Alan Windy that he call a referendum to determine the democratic will of the Western Cape people and to find out whether they wish for the Western Cape to break away from the Republic of South Africa and to form a new sovereign state. We're asking three things of the President. Firstly, we're asking that he respects and honours both the letter and the spirit of the South African and Western Cape Constitution. Are we still on? Hello? Uh -oh, what happened? I See, believe you stopped. Okay, I was just trying to make sure you guys are still on. Yeah, the we okay, as you all could see, that, that video, they presented a letter about their own um, freedom, about their own self-determination. We call it, there's a reason why we call it self-determination. You understand? We don't want to use freedom okay maybe but why we call it self-determination is that a people that are mono 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 monolithic in their in their vicinity they probably practice the same religion same language they have the same thought processes and all that they have decided that they want out of south africa and this is cape town you know cape town is this capital of south africa i believe oh no johannesburg anyway Cape, this is Cape Town, like one of the states saying, you know what, we want to move out of that union because that union no longer favors them. And guess what? They walked into the guy and handed him a letter. 
And we're saying this thing is doable. And that was how the South African apartheid constitution was brought down several years ago by the likes of uh, Mandela and uh, Tabo Mbeki, I think, yes, or Oliver Tambo. They are the ones that brought down that 19, uh, their, their own constitution several years ago. About, uh, I think that happened in 1990. Because they found out that that is the document that has held them captive for years. Because initially they were fighting, destroying, they were being imprisoned. They were being, they said, you know what? When these two lawyers sat down, they said, you know what? This is the instrument of the injustice that has been melted to them. And they worked so hard to pull it down. That was where the, the sight of relief came to South Africa. Now, the same South Africa, Cape Town is trying to move out. So for those that are saying, full and no go grief, full and no go grief, did you see what just happened? Do you know that you don't even need any full and need to agree or not agree? You that have to leave. Not to leave. Why not work hard towards it and get it done, you know, the way it's supposed to be? So for our people, that video is for all of us. It's for all of us. We don't need to fight. We don't need to do sit at home for one criminal somehow. We don't need to get our people killed for any reason. What we needed to do is what... It is shown, it has a video. So it's not as if them say, them say, this is a video telling us how it is done. So, uh, Sister Muna, you have another video. Yes. Give me one minute. Me and my video here. Let's see. No, it's actually just the um, <laughs> the picture. That picture that you brought up before, Sister Mona, you see, we want to show our people there's something you call uh, Kuje Accord. I read somebody, there's somebody is, um, no, not this one, please. Yes. So somebody was saying, oh, not castigate other people's group. I don't know. I don't know when, I think, I think maybe the person is new. We are saying this thing has to be done in a particular way, according to international standards. So if you are doing the wrong thing, we, doctors of truth, we are here to castigate you. That's what we care. We tell you to stop doing the wrong thing because the wrong thing you are doing is killing our people. So we will tell you to stop and persuade you to stop because you might be killed. You might get killed because if you keep doing the wrong thing, I don't know what will happen to you. So there's something called the right thing. And this is when our people came together. Look at this picture. If so, you can, in your phone, you can blow it open to see the caliber of people here. This picture was taken 2017, February 28th. There's a video. We just don't want to play the video. If you go to this thing, you can see the video. Their voices get me angry. So I would just want to show you the picture for you to see what happened. This is called Kuje Accord. Because picture does not lie. We have evidence for everything that we tell you. When we tell you this struggle started so, so, so years and our people are aware, we have evidence. When we tell you that even those stealing from this project that stole the documents of this project and went to use it to do radio broadcasts to get a name for themselves, to do it as if that the ones doing this, with me, why they're not doing? They're not, they, they're not doing nothing. All they want to do is collect money from our people and kill our people. We have evidence to that effect. So we're not just talking. So you see, this consensus, all the agitation, all the agitation groups in Southeast came together, all of them. I had this consensus February 28, 2017. That they're going to go according to LNC referendum templates. They agreed. This man you're seeing here, we're there. So what happened? You know what happened? These criminal politicians. These criminal politicians is what happened. Like when Sister Mona was talking, at, uh, talking to us at the introduction, while our people were there signing papers, saying like, okay, we are not ready to move, we'll go together, because they agreed that we have to go with the referendum campaign together. 2017, how many years now? These political people had something in mind. This political class, this, my brother calls them, they never do well. They had something else in mind. They play their own game. We call them cr criminal political class. They destroyed the consensus. They deceived our ignorant, ignorant boys. 
pretending that they were with them. But all they wanted was just to use their pain and their noise to win elections. They were never with them. Abari Bill, Epito Bill, what's the other Soludo, all of them, they would talk from one side of their mouth. One side, they talk like this. You think that with you, the other side of mouth, they go with the Fulanese and continue what they're doing, taking us in circles, in round. Our people give money to people that they call their leaders. These politicians also give money to those their leaders. So when there's election, because this they are lead, your own leaders gathered you together in a group, they will just discuss with your leader and give your leader money and then direct you. So your leader will just come one day and make announcements. And that's over. All your efforts will end in one announcement. Have you stopped to ask yourself what happened? Chai. Why this announcement? Why did this announcement come at this critical time? What happened? Somebody, money has exchanged hands. And you are there, dying. They will join them, this political class. We attend burials with them in solidarity. So think, make you think that you are with them. They are not with you. Never will be with you. And they will never be with you because it's about their own selfish gains, their families, the what they will gain from you. They are gaining from you. In this struggle, in this struggle for self-determination, there are three groups. And we need to separate these three groups so that we know what we're dealing with. You have the pure criminals. Those ones that are just criminals. Mostly our, politi our political class and their thugs who pretend to be fighting for freedom. They are together. They are not fighting for any freedom. Hmm. Mr. Iberibe is the chairman of it. I'm telling you. Iberibe. Iberibe. Yes. Freedom is not what you fight by going to the road to just shout and they shoot at you. And that's why Sister Augusta was saying that we want to separate it from freedom because we say we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. It's as if we want to go and fight. It's self-determination we're talking about. And you get it through negotiations. We told you here on this platform that even after physical war, that people go back to the table to negotiate. Is it not common sense that you could stand from the table? Why do you want to go and die first? Especially when we have died. 3.5 million and stay counting. It's not a joke. We are where we will be on the table discussing. But you know what? These criminals, political parties, fake freedom fighters will not allow that negotiation to take place. They will keep distracting our people with things that have no value. Another group is the ignorant group, the people that are very slow in thinking and reasoning. This group, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you have PhD. I think the, those ones that have PhD, ah. for, I think that was. And speaking English, okay. And speaking English. So sometimes when you see people speaking English, when don't don't be deceived, don't be deceived. English is just a way of communication. You see, because we have different languages, if we start speaking, if we speak Igbo now, some people will not understand. So that's why we have to speak English. But when you see those people that are very particular about crossing the T's and crossing the I's and pronouncing it in a particular way, like a white man, Chris English is yes, speaking from the noses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have issue with it. But the problem I have is that if you are speaking it, receive sense also. But if you don't receive sense, we will make you, as mothers, we will tell you to go and receive sense. Because when you speak, we will hear what you say. We say, this thing is said. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't make sense, we say, oh boy, go and add sense to that English you just spoke. So we we'll prefer our natives that don't even speak English, but they have common sense. We work with them. As we speak, we have our sisters that we're working on ground with. They make sense, correct sense. We don't even waste time to explain things to them. Once we tell them this, this, they understand it. So we have groups that are ignorant and slow. They are delaying what we're doing because they will never understand. These are the people that the Bible say, continue to hear and not ever understand. They are neither code nor heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that there's another group like that. So you will know them. What we're saying is so that you begin to identify them and separate them so we know what we're dealing with. Then there's a third group 
the dishonest people, especially the politicians, the church leaders, the traditional leaders, the fake freedom fighters also inside here, and of course our Nollywood actors, that make us look stupid. You wear something that you're looking like, a, 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 I don't know what you, what do you think you're doing? Last week, we told you people to come here and learn so that you will do the right thing. So they don't have the opportunity to speak for us and you go and display, I mean, and present us in a very, in a most stupid way. As if we are drunkards. I saw one video where he was wearing something and doing like as if he was drunk. I said, this man, did he, what did he drink? You have a name, Chiwetalago. But you cannot reduce yourself to, and he, he was even saying that video, I went to school. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you know because if you say you did not go to school, I will mm. I'll say maybe he doesn't know. But you're saying that you went to school, that you know, you are disgracing us because they'll say, ah, the full and will look at you and say, look at this people that said they went to school. We were we are even more strategic than they. So please, we are begging these dishonest people. Come here and learn. We have videos, please share the videos to them. Our viewers, be conny. Share the videos to them. Let's see whether they begin to learn. We said there are strategies, step by step things that we need to do. We're not even the one that said it. It's the standard. It's the international standard. The things you need to do and the things you don't need to do. There are some things you do, you get into trouble unnecessarily. You don't need those ones. You have to follow the protocol. You have to follow the step by step. But come and learn so that you will stop. So. These people, they keep acting stupid for people to think that everybody... They're doing country. something. Yes. <laughs> and it will not take us anywhere. You're wasting our time. We are praying. We are praying. We are, we are begging you. Begging you to please stop acting stupid. Do the right thing. Please. Learn what the issues are first. You have to learn what the disease is. Before you know, understand what the treatment is. So don't present us to our enemies as if we're all stupid and drunk. For instance, we will tell you people now and analyze what the political class they did to us. We want you to listen very well. Because as you listen, you're thinking. These are facts. They are not fabricated. They are things that you go and confirm. Some people told our people that you need to go into Nigerian politics for you to get freedom. Our people registered a particular political party called APGA. I don't know what is going inside. That's what they call it. I don't know. Uh -huh. That's what they call it. Because they want to pro pro play Nigerian politics. An example, in Imo State, they brought somebody called Rochas, came from nowhere, and told them, I'm with you. Try. Get freedom. Vote for me. And our people united and voted him in. Through Abga. My people, do you know what he did immediately he won? <laughs> he transferred to APC. That is how APC entered the state. Through the back door. Through the Judas goats. My people will not clear their eye and vote a party that they know is coming to kill them. My people will not do that. But that party was smuggled in through a Judas goat that our people trusted, that told them he was for the freedom. Because people come and tell us, hey, organize yourself. Why not organize yourself? You Buhari said it. Buhari said, organize yourself and come into politics. Because they know they have already done something to the Rig party. the whole numbers. It will yeah, never balance. Yeah, it's already rigged. And they tell you to come in. So that's how we lost Imo State to APC. Now we want to show you what is happening in that emo state now to see what is happening in emo state that you have given to APC. Sister Mona, I don't know if the video is available. The other video, yes, is it is. See how corruption has taken over in emo state. Exactly what is happening in Nigeria is happening now in emo state. He goes, he that goes a borrowing, goes a sorrowing, a sorrowing. That's my state, though. Okay, watch now. You'll we'll see what is going on. This is the loan. Opus Odima has borrowed 32.9 billion as domestic loans. And borrowed another 5.7 billion as foreign loans. You have your facts? 
Yes, it is content in the borrowing plan. It has already been completed for the 2021 fiscal year. Mm. That is okay, well. And the, between 31st of March and 30th of October, a period of six months, Senator Hopu Zodima has increased the debt profile of Imo State from 149 billion to 187 billion. At this <laughs> point, Imo State has become more indebted than the four other Southeast states put together. This is not sustainable. Compliments of Senator President Hopu Zodima in June promised Imo people last year, June, that they were going to create 100,000 jobs using Adapam. One year later, the MD of Adapam. Godi Esomobodo appeared on BBC Ibo and was lamenting that no investment has been made. In 2020, the most government of Senator Hopu Zodema spent 1.2 billion chasing after foreign direct investment to the Ministry of Foreign and International Affairs. And in that same fiscal year of 2020, 53 million dollars came into Southeast as foreign direct investment. It was shared between Abia and Abia and Inu. The most it goes there, even having spent 1.2 billion. Chasing after FDI. In 2021, as curious and shocking as it could be, <laughs> the same government of Hopus Adema is spending 448 million as recurring expenditure in a ministry without a commissioner and spending another 500 million as capital expenditure in the Ministry of Foreign and International Affairs, even when it is non functional. Yeah, so well, 948 million is being spent in a ministry that has no commissioner, that has no staff. This is shocking and this is pitiful. Now, when you look at it, what comes to mind that the finances of our state have been so terribly managed? A memo from the Office of the Accountant General that was addressed to local government interim management committee chairman was asking them recently to supply the names of all their workers between March last year and now so that their salaries could be paid. There are two implications about this. Number one, the local government system has been emasculated, conscripted and hijacked, that they cannot even meet the first line obligation of payment of salaries. Two, indeed, and in fact, also the man is owing what he has not faced his match last year. The major challenge of this our generation today is human capital development. And there are three crucial areas to this human capital development. One is education, two is ICT, and three is entrepreneurship. Even state has no commissioner for education for the past six months. No commissioner for science and technology, no commissioner for entrepreneurship. Does those of have a plan for the future of the most states? Okay, our people, <laughs> is it not how Nigeria was sold? You are hearing what happened to Nigeria, happened to Imo State. Now, when there is no commission for education, you are reducing the children to almajiris. So we say reproduce, they are reproducing Nigeria in Imo State. How did this yeah. happen? Because we wanted to play politics in Nigeria under 1999 constitution. And we say, the people say, ah, you're looking for freedom. Go into the politics way. You are not aware that you are in the enemy's camp, that the enemy has finished you before you woke up. So the smuggling in Rogers, he said, we are with you. We are coming for freedom. Yes, I am for freedom. Through Abga, he came in through Abga. And then switched to APC. And now APC has sold Imo State. It's gone. Hmm. The second state where we had, because usually, because when people on this platform, we follow step by step. We're not here to make noise. We want you to think. That's why we say if you're coming, come with your brain. Put on your thinking cap because we want, we want our people to begin to think. Usually in the normal environment where things are happening, where you have the right constitution and everything, if you have a political party, let's say you have it in two states, you see you work hard to have it expanded to the third state, fourth state is a process. That's what, that's when things are working. But things are not working in Nigeria because it's a union of death. The only agenda in Nigeria is to kill the indigenous, indigenous peoples. So the second state that is Abga is Anambra state. You see, you see where we're going now. Because we showed you what happened 2017. November 2017 was the last time Anambra State had election. And you know what happened? Our dear brothers came and started shouting, no, um, uh, uh, can they say, no erection in Anambala. <laughs> no erection in Anambala. That's what they were doing, shouting, no erection in Anambala. In doing that, Obiano went and united with APC at the central level. 
Hey. And they brought in their people that came to do Operation Python Dance, a wake to ensure that there will be a result in Anambra, whether you vote or you don't vote. Because when people don't understand things, that's how things happen to us. So Obi Hano had a deal with APC. Part of the deals is what we'll tell you. As we're saying, be thinking, go and do your investigation. That they will allow him to return as a governor, whether you vote or you no vote. Whether you are shouting no election, no election, whatever you're shouting, he <laughs> made that deal. First, that if they allow him to return, just like that, he will make Abga to support Bubu, APC, in the 2019 presidential election. And that was what Abga did. So they didn't even send the P2B in PDP. P2B that is an evil man from Anambra State. They did not, Abga did not support him. These are the people that tell you they want to demand him, that they are coming for the good of evil people. They abandoned P2B in his PDP and supported APC because it's part of the deal. You know, when you make a deal, when they do for you, you do for them. Scratch my back and I scratch your back. Exactly. So the second part of the deal is that after his tenor, listen up, after his tenor, he will parcel Anambra State in a very wonderful package and deliver it to APC. That's what you're seeing happening. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, my people. Stop all this English and crying up and down. You're not crying up and down. Well, you need strategy. You need your brain and strategy. Open your eyes. Because I'm telling you, you can see it happening. As we speak, all top Abga executives and officials have switched to APC. Even Obiano's deputy has switched <laughs> to APC. Hmm. Even the so-called Stella. Even the so-called Stella. You guys are Stella. praising. <laughs> and she's bragging that nobody will stop APC. It is their game. It's their deal. It's not about you, my people. Mm -mm. It's their elite game. Full and elite. No and way in yep. Yes. Full and elite. And evil elite. Are one and the same. They're not here for you. It's their own thing. They drink together. They wine together. They do wedding together. And you die, my people. Now, APC will always have a worse candidate. It is as if they signed it to paper that if we must do something, we must get a worse, a candidate that hates the people. The APC candidate in Anambra State. Go and check out. These are people that use Anambra State to create family wealth. So they are ready to sell every plot of Igbo land to APC. The only two people remaining in Abga, our dear Abga, the only two meaningful people remaining are Hobiano, who is waiting to hand over to whoever that he wants to hand over. And our dear Soludo, Professor Soso. He will saw you guys like Rapana. Okay, yes. so you know, up. <laughs> Did you know that is the letter that Professor Soludo, that economic analysis he gave that made good luck, like he, he flawed good luck and replaced may help to remove good luck and bring Buhari. This is the story of Soludo, dear Soludo. Now he is the candidate of Abka. What do you think he will do after winning? <laughs> after winning? When you have APC at the central, he will just transfer like Okorocha did now. Now, do you not have an ambulance to deliver to APC? Open your <laughs> eyes, my people. Turn your eyes, open your ears. An Ambra state is between the devil and the deep blue sea. Let me tell you. Let we, we will tell you. So for those that are saying boycott election, hmm. now go check. Be checking. They will declare state of emergency and put Fulani inside there. Whether you vote or you do not vote. So if you do not vote, there's trouble. If you vote, there's trouble. <laughs> That's why we say you're between the devil and the deep blue sea. Mm. Now, if you decide to vote, 
Because we told you people, let this matter Nigeria and go. You said, no, we will wait first. Okay. If you decide to go and vote, you must defend your vote. If you do not defend your vote, they will bring a PC from the back door, whether you like it or you don't like it. Is either they come direct or they will bring the one that will switch over after. When we tell people it's like it's we, it, it, because, sorry, <laughs> hey, temperament. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. You know, you, you said if you decide to vote, so whether we uh, deep blue seal and uh, and the devil, the devil eh? <laughs> in all honesty, none is good. And and the truth about it is that even if you decided to go ahead and vote, they will still like the way they brought this uh, Supreme Court judge, um, governor. They would bring their own Supreme Court uh, governor or. Uh, Soludos also will turn to APC. And we are saying, hey, you don't even have to wait for them to do that. Mm. We can get all of these people out of the way, like right now. Today, today like right today. now. Like probably in the next If you, if you can understand what Nina is saying. Out of the way, like right now. So whether they bring, whether Soludo wins or um, Supreme Court governor comes, the truth about it is that these people have they've taken the eastern region totally and we can dismantle that 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 hold that stronghold that they have over us like right now so what are we waiting for why are you waiting for them to for soludo to win why are you waiting for them to bring a supreme court governor why are you waiting for them to sell our land take our land the reason why they brought up for them was to come and do their bidding not and because of the man did not win. Oh, he did not win. And he has not done anything since he came to Imo. It's even worse than Okorocha. Okorocha that was building substandard uh, 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 buildings in him. Every oh, Okorocha was wasting the resources. Wasting the resources. It's the same message. He just like, uh, <sighs> Okorocha was to come and open door for APC. And he delivered. And he has gone. <laughs> you understand? Now, uh, Hope... Is now coming to deliver that which Okorocha sold. You know, they have receipts. Okorocha gave them receipts. So when you now bring your receipts, they will not deliver the goods. So <laughs> Okorocha sold. <laughs> Hope Uzorima will deliver. Anambra State is on table now. If our people do not wake up to shine their eyes and critically think, to know, okay, this is the devil. This is deep blue sea. Sisters, please, please. This thing is so important. Please, please share, 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 share. We on Facebook, we on Twitter, we on YouTube. Help our people get this information. You can see Facebook will block you because they don't want you to get this information. That's why we're also on Twitter. That's why we're also on YouTube. Share, share, share. Our people need to begin to understand these things so they can put two and two together and make the correct move. If not, Ulugano, the more you look, as I'm wearing these glasses, I still can't see. I take it off, I put it on. When he, you won't be seeing anything. You can't see anything. So please help us to share this information. If you cannot share, Pastor Chris, I don't know if you're on today. This is a message to share for the church tomorrow. Can you guys stop preaching the same Bible over and over and over again and share what will save the people first? We are asking if you are in any kind of uh, leadership, share this information. You, what, like, you have understood what we're saying now. Break it down for our people so that it can be putting things together for us to move. Help us to share this information because they will never allow you to, you will never see an alert of this such information. If I take off my clothes now and start dancing, they will show you guys all of those things. You will never, allow, they will never allow this to ring on somebody's phone and say live show. You will never see it there. Please help us to share. Sister, please go ahead. It is sad though. It is sad. It is sad. The strategies are out there. Our people, please let's let's do the needful. Let's let's do the needful. For those politicians that are still speaking through their noses, please stop speaking. We are dying. We are dying in numbers. For those that still feel that Nigeria has to be won for them to attain a, 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 a presidency or whatever, remember you can be president in the, in the new nation if you participate in getting that new nation. 
This appeal is to the likes of Soludo. You're a brilliant man. Hmm. And, it, and it they're still giving them credit. That's the What the hell is his name? The Minister of Information, that terrorist. Oh, uh, Pantami Kolai Lai Mohammed. Oh, Bon Vita, whatever his name is. He, he, did he go to Yale or Harvard? They go in there and they want to collect their degree. Critical all thinking, the they lack critical thinking. That's what we are all the all the year. You see, one thing you have to understand: there are three hours credits credits here. We keep it online. You <laughs> mean online, and you go better certificates, like because you participated. You know all this. They will not say that they went to Yale. And like the way uh Kedan had this guy, people oh, that I hated passionately. They spent four years. They still like critical thinking. Because you can calculate the economic functions does not mean that you know that the Fulanis are in your backyard about your kill, kill your people and all you're interested in is to be a governor no, and get take some the, money. The truth about it is that they know. These people know. They've been told. They have explained some of these things firsthand. They know They know the truth. They are just hiding on the... I don't know why they have to. See, see, the fact that you can operate on the brain does not mean that you have critical thinking. No. <laughs> A neurosurgeon. Yeah, it's just a skill. <laughs> you, you need to have common sense. So some that know, like Sister Augusta is saying, they are being dishonest because of what they stand to gain. They have sold us, they have sold our people, they have sold our land, and it is about them. They are collecting the money. And we say we need to clear all these people from our way, where we're going. You need to persuade them. That's why I say close shop. You say political parties close shop. That's the way forward. They're not doing anything for us, especially at the national level. The only permanent solution to the pains we are going through is to leave Nigeria as fast as our legs can carry us. We don't have time to be dancing inside Nigeria, and we're not begging for lanis, and we don't have time to beg them. If our people can just understand what we're saying, we are not here to dance political parties dance political parties close shop you are the ones opening door and making them to kill us to come in and close and kill us you're not listening to us you're not with the people that's what we're saying you're not with the people if you were with the people we we'll have gone far in what we're doing but you're not with the people you're busy being subservient to your full and new friends and because of that they're coming in to kill us when you say one Nigeria, what you're saying is that you're going to hold the light for those that are coming in to kill us. You are showing them, see them, and you open the door for them, come in and kill them. That's what you're doing. You are the one killing us, our uh, political elites. Go ahead, please. No, 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 no. I'm so heartbroken. I am speechless, my dear. This is awful. I don't know how I ended up being in this nation called Lower Niger or Igbo Nation. Who are these people? Who are they? Are they, are they Fulanese answering Igbo names? Are they Fulanese answering uh, our Chris? I mean, who are these people that I don't care about? They, they mean, the handwriting is on the wall and they're look, choosing to look the other way. And then the well, people they, that are, are, they are Fulanese, perhaps birthed by well, maybe some of them after the war and all that, because I, I don't see the logic in all of this. When the truth is obvious, I mean it's obvious. So what are we talking about? We are seeing it koro koro, and we are turning a blind eye. It, I mean it doesn't make sense. Especially this election coming up. All right, sisters, I have the fourth video. I mean the fifth video on. Yes, this is for people that are asking what the way forward. Listen to hear the way forward because here when we give problem we give you solution our case is not hopeless if we can do the right thing today there is a way forward there is a way to get us out of this mess very fast pay attention join lnc ninas to bring down the 1999 constitution the document that made it possible for fulanis to come and take your land that made it possible for fulani the caliphate to impose People that should not even be your driver to be your leaders. <laughs> and stop distracting people that are working. Nina's LNC is working. Those of you that are doing fake freedom fighting, you're distracting what we're doing because you're not following the steps. 
And then when we do something, you claim the credit, say it's you that did it. We hear also of your video. You see, the issue is that at the end of this LNC Nina's uh, project for self-determination, we are going to have self-determination. But you will be disappointed when you don't have what you are telling the people, lying to the people that you want to give them because you don't have it to give them. We have enumerated all the steps to you that you need to do to get your self-determination for your ethnic nationality. So you have to decide, are you Biafran? Are you Igbo? You make up your mind. What is your identity? Make up your mind. Make up your mind, my dear Igbo people. Who are you? Whose children are you? Go and ask your ancestors. Ask your grandparents if you don't understand. Before 1967, who were you? That is the map that you're going to use to get your self-determination. After getting it, you cannot choose any name you want. You can buy a car and put it anything you want to put it. You can build a stadium and call it Biafra Stadium. And even if your neighbors agree and you sign document, they can agree with you and call it whatever name you want. If it's the Biafra and there's consensus, they will agree with you. But not putting the cart in front of the horse. The horse has to be in front of the cart. First thing first, the pattern, the way to self-determination is that you have to save your own land where your ancestors are living. Please, viewers, if you want to call in, you can call in as we are preparing to end this show. So you must answer your own name on your own land. Sister Muna, are you ready for with the video? Yes, let me post the phone number first. Okay. Please, I, for, I forgot that we had the last video to play. So you have to be on your own land, answering your own father's name. You can't take another person's land. Our brothers and sisters in mid in Midwest, whenever they hear the Biafra, they want to fight us and cut us, cut, cut our heads, because it's as if you want to take their name. They, I mean, they, take their land. We discuss with some of them privately, their leaders. They are so angry. Even those that are by the fight of the ancient Biafra, when they hear you mention Biafra, they know that they are the ones living near the bite of Biafra, and they think you want to take their land. They start fighting you. That's why they are not agreeing with you. Meanwhile, they are agreeing with us. Why? Because the template on the table is every man on his own land. I'm an Igbo woman. I'm not Ijo. But Ijo is my partner, my friend, my, my neighbor. I can work with him. Idrobo, Ishekiri, they're all our neighbors and friends. We can work together. But I am Igbo. That's my ethnic nationality. And I can only stand on that place. Please, identify who you are, stand on it, so that we can make this journey faster before they come in to kill all of us. Please go ahead, Sister Mona. We recall that on the 16th of December 2020, the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination uh, did uh, declare a sovereignty dispute, raising grave constitutional grievances and making a five point demand on the federal government of Nigeria with a 90 day ultimatum. Uh, within which uh, and then the, the 90 day period of notice within which uh, remedial steps towards addressing those uh, constitutional grievances must commence. 90 days passed, the federal government didn't uh, uh, turn up for any discussion, other than a uh, little uh, moments in the background and some frantic movement towards the National Assembly for amendments. On, this, on the 17th of March in 2021, at the expiration of the 90 days, uh, Nina's did uh, address a world press conference in Ibadan, which it titled Next Steps, by which it invited the elected officials. It gave a 30-day window for elected officials from the Alliance territory. And uh, when I talk about Alliance territory, look at the map here, the south of the middle belt. Uh, since the 
demands were addressed to the federal government, and uh, those elected officials from the alliance territory might be uh, it will be on the first line of uh, you know uh, uh, will be will be the will, will take the first hit uh, should uh, the next uh, steps indicated in the proclamation itself uh, be activated. That is a uh, reconsideration of allegiance. So the 1999 to the disputed 1999 constitution because the whole dispute is all about we not making the 1999 constitution therefore we not being in a union in that union defined by that 1999 constitution that's what it really boils down to our federation has become our union has become a fraud against us as long as it's that 1999 constitution that defines it along with all institutions now uh the 30 day all right, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, we're going to put this video in its entirety on our Facebook page so you can watch. Um, I have posted the link. We had a brother earlier. As soon as we jump in, we haven't even said our topic. He wants to uh, contribute to the discussion. So, brother, this is your chance to jump in and contribute. Uh, our phone number is already posted on the uh platform. It's plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two plus one. 774-338-0942. You can call this number as a phone number or you can call it as a WhatsApp or even, a, what is the other one? Telegram. So you can, yes, I should add Telegram there. You can call it either way and it should work. So join us. Um, so guys, can you help me pin the information that I'm going to post? Okay. Um, phone number. So we're going to also pin it for uh for you to understand uh, for you to see so this is the time for contribution uh we have done a very well thought out presentation today to help you to understand what's eating your grapes <laughs> something is eating the grapes that you pay for and by the time you come out your whole sweet snack is gone so if you don't get it at this level we may have to intensify your fasting and your prayer because there's nothing else that we can do for you. All these things that you're seeing on channel news and Arise News and all these news channel that does not make sense to you, we have been able to put it together for you to understand that either way, you will lose. <laughs> you got left, you will lose. You got right, you will lose. So what is the way out? Ninas. Ninas is the way out. In Nigeria, somebody, our brother, um, Hussein, would say, kill Nigeria before Nigeria kills you. So are you going to sit there and wait for Nigeria to kill? Because he, he has been killing you. Are you going to be the next victim of Nigeria? Is Nigeria working for you? Are you happy where you are? Our counterparts are, you know, here in America, sending money in uh, uh, to overseas where they come from. I, we met this guy from India. He has a electronics uh, shop in India, you know, selling the other something. Since Augusta, within 48 hours, he will ship it to India. He's here working. So we want to be able to do that for our people to create employment, but where would you go and take your money and invest in a place that is about to explode? You know, so we have to end this. We started this video with one of the guys asking, what are we going to, I mean, are you going to stay in a country just to stay in a country? Are you going to, isn't it better that we go a separate way and go with our dignity and, and create a nation that you will be proud of? Why do we have to stay in this one Nigeria that is not working for us? one nigeria that is sending our children to the mediterranean sea one nigeria that have turned our girls our women to prostitutes all over europe the same one nigeria one nigeria where you will work spend sixty thousand eighty thousand hundred and fifty thousand to go to college when you go back to nigeria it will reduce you to sit on the look when are you going to end it when are we going to stop sending 25 billion dollars to train our children overseas when we have capable teachers, if we use fraction of that $29 billion, we can build the best university anyone will be proud of. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why can black men for the first time in their life, should I say black nation, black women, do something for, for a change to make this thing right? Why are we holding ourselves hostage and looking for our help to come from the hills or the heavens? when we have the power in our hands. Our brother Tony has worked for 20 something years, putting plan for us to get out. 
What do we do? We lie about it. We pretend we didn't know. We opened up our own platform. We went on radio and started shouting. We joined politics. You know, some of them even went further to the, uh, uh, Professor Soso. Wasn't his brother's uh, bodyguard killed? All in the name for you to go, so that it will look like they are doing something. The money that he collected as the Minister of uh, Finance, getting gone around, whichever one he was, well, it's not enough. Ask me from Minister, Governor, so which one is making more money? It's all about what they stand to gain. And our people are looking with their hungry eyes, depleted road, street, school, environment. They don't even know what they're doing. If it gets tough, they will go to midweek service, Sunday service, afternoon service. If it gets even tougher, they will start dancing. I go chop your money. They don't have the money, but they will be chopping their money. It's enough, my dear. It's not working. Kill Nigeria before Nigeria kills you. Just, I'm gonna, if um, not, the, the call hasn't come in yet, um, there's a comment that uh, Brother Tony made, you know, um, concerning separating criminality from real. Why is it important that we have to do that? For those that are listening and not understanding, we will read it again for you. I don't know, Sister Augusta, are you able to read it? He says, untangling the Eastern Nigeria Liberation Campaign yes. from the Biafra Restoration Albatross. Yes, let me go ahead and read it. It is uh, 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 not too long, so I can, you know, go ahead, briefly read it. So, um, on time of the Eastern Nigerian Liberation Campaign from the Biafra Restoration Abatros, uh, this is as of today, actually. Oh, I think it was of yesterday. So during the Q&A session at a recent virtual town hall meeting, a zealous Biafra Restoration activist, who also happened to be a university teacher in the United States, was invited to explain to the audience in precise terms the exact meaning of the Biafra Restoration he had been campaigning about for some years. Specifically, it was asked to explain to the audience the exact geographical description of the territory, like the map of Biafra being restored. It was asked to name the ethnic nationalities included in the Biafra territory covered by his map. He was asked to describe the goal of the campaign in clear terms without using the phrase Biafra restoration. The fellow struggled for about five minutes, unable to provide concise answers any, to any of these three specifics. It dawned on him that despite being a university teacher, describe the campaign he was waging for years in terms of exact territory, peoples, or people covered, covered and go. Because everything he tried to say about, uh, brought out embarrassing gaps in the descriptions he was trying to advance. By this little exercise, it dawned on him that he had all these years erroneously lumped these three items together in the word Biafra, thereby creating an extraordinary kind of confusion. Then he went out to unbundle the then we went out to unbundle the three items, and so it was immediately so he immediately realized that one, the use of the term Biafra in describing the territory over which he seeks independence throws up the controversy as to whether it is the Biafra territory of May 30, 1967, or whether the territory has shrunk to the central state of May 27, 1967, or expanded to include parts of the whole Midwest region and state of May uh, 20, 27, 1967. It therefore dawned on him that a clear territorial description of his prospective Biafra was necessary. Two, that the use of the term Biafrans to describe the people seeking the independence also leaves everything in controversy as to the actual people or peoples, that is the ethnic nationalities, seeking independence via the Biafra Restoration Campaign. It dawned on him that Biafrans cannot be the clear description of the peoples involved in the search for independence in the eastern region. Three, that the use of the word Biafra to describe the goal of the campaign instead of self-determination, for instance, also throws up the same controversies as in question one and two. When these three items were unbundled, it became clear to the fellow that the grave error of using Biafra to describe the territory, the people and the goal was the biggest abatross to the liberation campaign. 
they were uh, they were trying to wage because it immediately surrounds the liberation campaign with such irresolvable controversies that operates like a huge abatrust on the liberation campaign. And this is a most potent recipe for the failure of the entire liberation project, both for the greater Eastern region and the entire Ninas Alliance territories of the South and the Middle Belt. Once we remove the word Biafra from the campaign nomenclature as outlined above, we immediately see much clearer and easy to understand description of the territory, the peoples and the freedom go. We can then build everything else on those three devoid of controversy. This is precisely what LNC did as a deed as can be gleaned from the Aladima episode of 2012. Yeah, this was uh, written by Abra Tony, and you know, Abra Tony has been uh, uh, in the forefront of this, trying to explain why we cannot use the word or the name Biafra, at least not this time. For us to end up using Biafra, we have to reach a consensus, we have to vote for it, there has to be a referendum for it. So when we tell our people that, hold that thoughts for now, hold it, hold it for now, let us get out from this contraption first. We would gather and see whether we want to use the name Biafra. I can reward know. it when the guy is coming out to speak and he forced <coughs> to embarrass himself and he said he's teaching. I don't know where he's teaching. He must be teaching somewhere in the village, somewhere. No, he's teaching in the US. Teaching I the US. I know. I <laughs> know. They always want to show it. So again, because you understand social studies or biology does not mean you have common sense. This is what this whole thing is reiterating to us. Whether they come from Yale or Harvard or University of Texas and they are professor for 30 years, it does not mean a thing. Our sisters that are selling crayfish in the market understand what the problems are. And our professors, the so-called brother Sosu, Sosu, what did you guys call him? Sosu. Sosu. So brother Sosu. All of them, they are so confused. They are professors. So all we are asking you guys is to stop allowing people to deceive you with their degrees, with their English, uh, use of English language, and follow what works. Because in the politicians, you will find them at LNC to pretend as if they want to join what they are doing. The next minute, they are campaigning for uh, APC. The other minute, they, they want to belong to ABGA. The other minute, they are here in Houston having graduation party for their children and calling a uh, flavor to dance. They are all over the place. Now, they are all over the place. The way they feel, the way they want, why they dribble us at football that will never get to a goalpost. Pathetic. All right, so it looks like our brother is no longer coming in. Nobody is calling. So, sisters, we can give a final statement to end the day. Again, please share, 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 share. If not for anything, if you can help us to share that video with sister, if we explain to you guys what is going on in our land, so that you can tell yourself in your head that election, because our people are passionate. I've been seeing them on Facebook. Everybody, why wouldn't they have election? Why would they have election? Hey, whatever. They don't even understand what the issues are because they are so emotional. So again, we were able to break it down for you guys and see no, 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 at the, at the end of the gun barrel, just sitting right there, one move, the bullet will go off and blow you into pieces. So you have to understand what is going on. The daughters of the land have spoken. We are here to ensure that you live the best life. At one point, also, we are not collecting your money. We are not broadcasting. We are not shouting in your ears. So all we're saying is that we want more for you. We want more for you. Our brothers and sisters deserve so much better because they are capable. We are doing well everywhere else. Why can't we do well for our people? We need to do, do this in a hasty manner to get out of that place and get to our self-determination and start building all record. We still have work to be done. We're even talking about self-determination. We're not even talking about nation building. So it's like, we cannot waste too much time in this, what, is, what should I call it? This place where we find ourselves, like this particular point. We can't waste so much time in it because we need our energy to build this so-called nation that we, we will eventually find ourselves in. So let's understand what the issues are so we can move on and end this. <sighs> end this and end it quickly we keep telling you guys you can end this today in the next 30 minutes those people those criminals that call themselves politicians their houses are all locked up in our neighborhood you will see them there next week as some of you might see them in the next grocery store shopping a lot of them live in self as we're speaking a lot of them have relocated back here uh you know with their family we've been seeing them here and there so don't let them deceive you 
Soludo's family, I bet they are no longer in Nigeria. It's only him and his oh. brother and the bodyguard. So yeah, let let's let's get sense, people, and and get get the work done, sisters, please. Yeah, let's get sense, people, and uh, get the work done. It's very imperative that we do that. We are using uh, this opportunity to call on a lot of people. I will start by saying some pastors are beginning to get on board. You know, I'm sure they're listening, they're understanding the process. Some of them are really getting on board, and I'm impressed. Uh, I would prefer they use the name Ninas because the explanation about Ninas is like it's inclusive, all ethnic nationalities. We're in this together, the Yorubas, the Middle Belters, those of us in the lower Niger area, we are in this together. So it, it is encompassing. So we want them to use the name or the word Ninas. If they don't understand what Nina stands for, they can always reach out to any one of us who would explain for them. And even if they cannot reach out, the websites are there. The, there are uh, uh, videos on YouTube. Exactly what is needed and what is at stake. So we're using this opportunity to call on some of our political leaders because I don't want to call them leaders because these people, they kind of like enunciate me. Uh, I would rather call them uh, political jobbers because it's all about them, 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 and them alone. We are saying, you know what? It's high time you got it together. Get these things together. It's, it's easy. Liberate your people for crying out loud. You can still be the president that you want to be in a new nation. You can still be the governor that you want to be in a new nation. You are just afraid that when you come to that new nation, you no longer be able to steal. You no longer be able to rob the people. Mm -hmm. That is what you're afraid of. Mm -hmm. What door? Can you live in a $5 billion house all by yourself? You can't. You, you can build 10 houses, but you can only live in one. You can have 50 rooms as a... a, 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 a um, uh, what is this guy's name? Uh, Babangida had when he built his house in, in Mina. But guess what? You only slept in one, one room at a time. Another one bed at a time. That is if they even sleep on, on beds. So you can achieve all this things in a new nation if you want to be part of this new nation. Stop pushing our people, dancing, pushing our people up and down. So Ludo, I said it again. Your intelligence in, 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 a, in a, uh, yeah, quote. <laughs> I want to tell I want to have a on me right now. Your intelligence in uh, uh, economics you can be used if you decide to do the right thing. The likes of uh, Peter B, you have been going up and down thinking, you, you, you guys are just speaking from your, you cannot speak from the heart. Tell the truth to the people. Now, in here, they are working. It's no longer working. It's not working even for the normal people, my former, the ordinary people. It's not working. Tell the truth. Let the people know that that country cannot work. You guys have to see, if you have read, there's this guy, Udeni, uh, David Udeni, that wrote something about the caliphate. And when they started, this people started a long time ago. They started long time ago. But the stories are out there. Why are you not using this to liberate your people? Why do you think that if another election is being upheld, that it would help? I know. But I'm saying that KKMLMA is not even working. And you want to go into another one. Politicians, use your brain. Pack up. Pack up for now. Pack, you can still do this. So pack up for now and let us get this new nation. Let's get the new nation. As our brother here said, he said they are afraid of the destruction of the president. Yes, exactly. They are afraid of the more money that they want to make. How much can you make? How much? At the expense of your people. At the expense of your people. Mm. At the expense of your people. There are no good roads. There are no good. There is no water. There is no light. In a country where there is no light, the vice president is talking about uh, 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 electric cars. You don't have light, but he's talking about electric cars. A country that now a dollar is six hundred and fifty. Dollar? Are you guys normal? And you guys are taking it in like that? You are taking it in like that? Bitcoin, Bitcoin, please! It's high time we did the right thing, and the right thing is all about what Ninas is doing. We keep telling people that Ninas is not an organization because somebody called me the other day and said, "Who is your coordinator?" I said, "Yeah, oh, <laughs> we are not. It's a movement." You have to be part of that movement. You have to decide whether you want freedom for your people or whether you want freedom for yourself, at least for yourself and your children. So, Biko, Biko, let us get involved with what Nenas is doing. And as we said, it's a matter of minutes if this, if we decide to, if we decide to let this thing happen. It's a matter of minutes, it's a matter of days, it's a matter of hours. So, Biko, 
get involved. Preach it at the top of your voices. Spread it on your WhatsApp or your message or wherever you, you talk. Talk to our people. Stop being emotional. They are killing us. They are killing us. Okay, then they are killing you. So bloody what? Are you not going to defend yourself? So this is the time for us to come together and get this thing done once and for all. So for those politicians, pack up. Bikono. Pack on on one corner and get into what is at stake. And this is what it is. Thank you all. Hope to see you all next week. Thank you. Uh, so there's somebody saying um, that they don't have the uh, Nina's protocol that they will just follow. No. We post these things. See, go to the website. We announce websites all the time. We don't want you to follow, follow. We don't want that, please. We want you to be informed citizens. That's what we come here every Saturday to teach you. We're not, this is not where the work is being done. The only reason we come here every Saturday is to teach you we are here for you so that you do not do follow, follow. These are 16 steps, 16 boxes of events and things that need to be done. They are not hidden. They've been in open for 21 years. This is it. Step by step, things that need to be done. We just posted them on the wall again. Go there, open it, enlarge it, and see the step, step. Then there's another one. This is a summary. This one gives you one after the other. What needs to be done? After that, which one next? We can see. Sorry, let me put my glasses. You can see it says repudiation of the 1999 constitution, which we have done. We told you it's already done. 16th December 2020. The next one is constitutional first. Okay, constitutional first major is the 16th. This one was done individual for all the places 2015, 2017, 2018, in all the blocks. Then Constitutional Force Major, 16th uh, December 2020. Then transition, which we are in. We're already in that transition. That's why I see some governors making some statements, some moves you're seeing governors make. Each time, these people making noise on radio, keep thinking it's because of their noise that some things are being done. When you hear VAT and things going on, it's not because of your noise. Some people are working on the ground. Serious work is going on. But we don't want you to follow, follow. We want you to join in the discussion. Number four, referendums and plebiscite. That's the next step. Somebody say we don't know where we are. <laughs> we know where we are. There's something to be followed. The top one is new constitution, constitutional order. This is it. Then for you, people that say, oh, how do we close, uh, 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 get them to close shop, get the politicians to close shop. We showed you this before. It's in our website. You can go there. You can see it in our, our page. All this is that they are done, no hidden. You can see the union, the constitution, the election, they are in parallel. But you, the people, here is where you put force. You are the one that will exert forces here. This is the masses. This is where you are. Now, when you put enough force here, you see, you push down this whole thing. This is the power you have. You listening to us. This is the power you have. How will you close the political parties? I said, I asked you, somebody asked the question, I said, who are the members of the political parties? Hmm. Spirits. I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> the politicians, their children are abroad. Their children are not members of political parties. Their children are not the one going for political rallies. Their children are not the one collecting a, 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 um, indomie from them when they are throwing it from the vehicle for you. It's not their children. It is you. You are the enabler. You are enabling the political elites by one being ignorant, which will come here every Saturday to cure your ignorance first. Because if you don't care it, you will not even know what we're saying. And then number two, by being part of the political parties, you are the one that will go for the meetings now. Is it not you? Why? Women, you are the one that will tie rapper, tie uh, Peter B on your hair. And say Kukronko mm -hmm. and say Aziza and say all those things. It is you they use. Mm -hmm. You are the one that when they start sharing your engine oil and granite oil and rice, and you are the one that collects it. It's you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are the market buyer. They are the selling. You are the they are the seller. You are the buyer. Mm -hmm. If the seller does not see buyers, put it close shop. Hmm. Automatic. It's that's what we say. Common sense. If a seller 
that is selling beans and rice. He opens his shop to sell beans and rice. And nobody came to buy. Only flies flying around. Are you going to tell him to close shop? He will close the shop and go and sleep. So we are telling our people, make, persuade, whatever you want to do to them. They are your uncles. They are your aunts. Whatever you want to do to them, do and tell them to close shop. That's what we're saying. We'll give you the message. Use your brain. You know what to do. You know what to do. Don't wait for me to come and tell you what to do. You know what to do. And when you do the right thing, don't sell us. We will leave our land. They will go somewhere else to go and sell. Because nobody is buying what they're selling in the whole Fast. territory. So that's why I say, don't go to Kafanchan. Protect your territory. But you have to de demarcate your own territory. The Igbos will be on their own because if you go to another person's territory to do, they will come for you. And there will be ethnic war. We don't want ethnic war. We don't want by, uh, <laughs> by ethnic versus ethnic. Morakeke and Ife. We don't want those ones. Stay on your ground. Igbos, be in your territory. Ijos, be in your territory. Urobo, be in your territory. Don't go to another Igbo children. Don't go to your people land. Stay in your own. And then together, we walk with Ninas. Ninas is for everyone. You don't need to be a member, like Sister Augusta said. It's a movement. All that thing you're doing, you just bring it inside to understand what Ninas is doing. To enter is a vehicle. So we enter inside vehicle, we are moving. So as we are going now, somebody is saying where we are. We are in transition. We are now transiting from where we used to be to our final destination. The next step is regional referendums and then division of assets and liabilities. Peacefully, do not make them to shoot you. You don't deserve to die. It is your right. Self-determination is your right. Do not make strangers to come into your land and kill you because you're not following protocol. Thank you so much for listening please share and inform others so that they'll get enlightened also by the grace of god we we'll come next week again to come and to be explaining to you if you have questions ask us please send it to our phone even if you text it later we will see it we will call you we will talk to you we we'll explain things to you you go to your churches and talk to your church pastors don't just give them your tithe and offering and go and sleep ask them and say have you heard of nina's have you heard of Kostina First Major? Have you heard of LNC? Have you heard of Ilanomo Odua? Have you heard of Middle Belt? Have you heard about what the church is expected to do to stop the massacre? We don't just want to be giving uh, rice to uh, people that were displaced. We contribute rice and clothes to them where they were displaced. No, we want to be able to take them back to their land. Remove those people that displaced them. Those foreign entities that displaced our people and send them to IDPs. We want to be able to remove them and send them back to sender so that our people will take back their land and live peacefully as God ordained it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Epi. And our final, so I'm glad that you mentioned church. Tomorrow is a church service tomorrow. Politicians are bringing politics into church. They come there and tell you about the 2023 elections and all the uh, Nanambra election. The same way you can take Ninas and start teaching people in your churches. You know, bring Ninas information, good information. Christ said that he came to give us the good news. Ninas is the good news for the indigenous people trapped in that hellhole, the foreign federation called Nigeria. So when you go to church tomorrow, share the information. Insist that the women, the same way they tell them to capture their husbands, because the husbands don't usually go to church. They will come to church, give the women the information, tell them to capture their husbands at home and their people at home. Use Nina's information, give them information, and persuade the women to use that information and capture their husbands and their neighbors at home. We need to go home. If not, God is not doing all of that anymore. He's not going to know Luga anymore, plus your ugly voice like mine. So the earlier we get with the program, the sooner we get to our destination. So thank you guys. Be safe. Our brothers and sisters, especially in diaspora, we are also calling on you guys to chip in and donate towards this freedom. If you don't know what to do, you're just out there, you, you only make no be, it's, you know, it's in your heart to do something, that's where the treasure comes in. 
Not not donating to ESN, Bikodo. Ndani donated to ESN. Uh, no, you are just um, adding fire, adding a combustion to the combusted combustible. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I have spoken no Igbo. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, we have our local vigilantes. The local vigilantes should be equipped. Yes, yeah, the, the local one, not yes. the rogue one. Yeah. If you want the to vote vigilantes. for this. You know, enabled give to, to the local yeah. vigilantes. Every yeah. every village has. If of you don't course. Have set up set up one. The people that you know from your land. From your land. Put it up. Mm -hmm. Not that. So why you're doing that? Like I was saying, you know, LNC is someone that is funding it. It's not fair for us to leave this for few people and using our money to support those killing our people. Please, 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 go on the website. We don't have to know who you are. I know some of you are hiding, especially those of you in priesthood. They don't want to be seen that they are doing whatever or or sisterhood or whatever. You know. That is a good place to go give. If you want to, don't want to be seen or heard of, you want to call us somewhere to give us cash, we'll take you to any way you can. We are available to ensure that, you know, we continue to fund this program. It is labor, uh, capital intensive, you know, meeting with people, going hand in hand, finding meeting places and all those things. They, they are very, very important. So I know that a lot of us do not have the time because we like to work double shift, which is fine. So that's the time for you to now move to the treasure part and give us some funding to get where we're going. So thank you guys so much. Uh, may God bless you guys. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.